Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining me on Mushroom Monday. I know I've shown you the Shake and Break videos before, but they're kind of fun. So here you are again. This one is from rice that was somewhat cooked. And the bigger jar is showing what the mycelium looks like after the last shake and break. It looks pretty healthy. Okay, now on this next part, after three hours later, <laughs> this is applying what's called the casing layer. After the mycelium has mostly colonized the substrate of core and vermiculite mixed with grain spa. And here real quick, I want to do a little shout out to 92nd Mycology, also to Shroom Scout and Philly Golden Teacher. These guys have been absolutely fabulous in showing how to get this done. So go check them out. They have some great stuff. Here it's being patted down pretty well and making sure it's all even. And in this video, it's being misted. You want to create a little mist. Now, um, casing layer isn't always used, but can help to retain moisture and create a healthy uh, microclimate for the mycelium to start pinning. When exposed to fresh air exchange, and that is by flipping the tub lid to create a slight gap for air to enter and the CO2 produced by the mycelium to cycle. Okay, so some have asked if using a cheesecloth over the tub to keep out the fruit flies and fungus gnats would work, so we experimented. Just FYI, bad mistake. It started to turn moldy uh, just after a couple days. So just make sure there are no bugs around to begin with. Now here what you're seeing is the tub within one week of applying the case layer. With the mushrooms already starting to mature, in fact, the first pins appear just two days after casing the tub and flipping the lid. Don't they look beautiful? And here they're being taken and weighed. And we're going to make spawn prints out of a couple of these. Also, just real quick, a nice little shout out at this point to Bodhisattva on the Shroomery website for his invaluable information about how low maintenance tub tech or how to so a lot of people in the community coming together to teach each other to share with each other and as you could see that's what we ended up with stay tuned for more mushroom monday <laughs>